Who wouldn't like to read and write research papers faster, right? And this is the promise that this new AI tool Unriddle makes to you. In fact, you'll be able to save as many as four hours on your next paper. Who wouldn't like that? I certainly would like to save four hours on my paper. So let's see how you can actually achieve this with Unriddle. Now, if you're new here, my name is Marek Kiczkowak and I run Academic English Now, where we help PhD students and researchers write and publish research papers in top Scopus Index journals. So, um, read research papers faster. I would love to do that and I'd love to write research papers faster. And this tool um, is being used currently by a lot of quite big institutions. So, there is something to it. The University of Cambridge, Caltech, Stanford, John Hopkins, so it straight away sounds like a very reliable tool. It allows you to upload um, PDFs and chat with those PDFs so you don't need to skim the documents and you can get the information faster. Uh, you can also get you know, the information at the exact moment you need it. So when you're writing things, Unriddle will suggest what other papers in your library you should be reading and referring to, which is pretty cool. And then you can also write, cite, and uncover th hidden themes as you're writing the paper, okay? It also has research maps, which most AI tools lack. So all in all, seems like a fantastic tool. Let's get started um, for free. The link to um, log in and create your free account on Unriddle is right below this um, video. So once you, once you log in, you're going to be um, taken um, right here. You can see I've already uploaded um, papers. But what I like about Unriddle is its simplicity. So a lot of AI tools these days are very cluttered and they try to do too many things at the same time and you just get lost. Um, so the simplicity here is that you either write or you upload PDFs to do the literature review, whichever you want to do first. I would recommend that you start by importing some files because that will allow you to write a better text faster because then you can refer to those texts and un ask unriddle questions and just speed up the writing. If you have zero text in your library, then you're starting with a blank page, which defeats the point. So let's upload some data. And really for our purposes, you want to use the document um, upload. Um, so you would click here and then select the papers um, that you want to upload from um, the, the PDFs that you've got um, saved. So I'll just upload these three um, just as an example. And then you can see they will be added to your library uh, just in here, okay? A quick side note, I like to stay organized and I hate when things are very chaotic. Um, so what you, what you want to do is create subfolders. So basically you click here and you go to select and then you select several uh, papers and then uh, you can see here at the bottom you go to group so you group those papers and then you can change the grouping uh, name so I will change it to something okay and now we've got that group to stay organized and what this allows you to do then as well if you have a grouping like this is you can chat with these three papers in here in that particular group. If I was to go to this group, I would have all the papers in here and I can be chatting with them um, at the same time. So um, in here, you've got the, the AI assistant that opens straight away. And again, I like the simplicity. Notice how just everything here is streamlined. There's only the information that you need is very sort of um, clear and nice to use. So you can switch between the different AI models um, in here, okay? I think this is only available on the paid plan. Um, and then you can also tell AI how many words you would like uh, generated, okay? So I'll just go for, um, well, I'll just go for no limit. It, for my purposes, it doesn't matter, but there is a limit on how many AI words you can generate depending on the paid plan that you're on. So let's ask um, Unriddle a question. What are, um, the limitations of these papers okay and then we're going to get an answer so one thing that um, 
I think um, Unreal can improve, and I said this is going to be an honest review, so I think it can make more suggestions for questions you should be asking. So tools like Avidnode or SciSpace, they already have a list of 10, 15 prompts that you can use with one click of a button. Because let's be honest, I mean, most of the time we're asking the same questions over and over again, right? We're asking, uh, what are the results of this study? What was the aim? Uh, what are the suggestions for future research? What are the limitations? So I think Unriddle should put those as prompts so we don't really have to write those uh, questions um, in here, okay? And then um, we get a nice answer here with um, the sources um, as well. What I love about this um, is that it gives us the page numbers of those sources. With other AI tools, you don't get that. So it's more difficult to verify the information. Whereas here, you can very easily verify um, what information is in the text and it takes you straight to that part of um, of the paper where that information was found. So you can just really quickly check whether what AI gave you is right or not. Fantastic feature with uh, the page numbers, okay? And then, you, in all fairness to Unreal, it does have some suggested questions, but most of them just aren't very relevant, right? Maybe explain this to me like I'm five, that's a bit funny, but that could be relevant for a summary, okay? Um, but Everything, all the other questions in here, they don't even make sense related to that text. So Unreal definitely has to improve its prompt. But that's how the literature review mode works. In my opinion, a very, very good feature, um, similar to the power that Avidnode has or SciSpace has. And if you don't know about these tools, then I've got links in the description to other videos and, and to those software so you can check them out. But all in all, a very good mode um, in here. And then what you can also do is you can start writing. So again, I just like how everything is in one window um, in here, okay? So it opens just, just here, right next to the notes. So we can easily kind of, we, we have the texts that we're reading, we have the AI chat, and then we can start taking notes. I think that's just, Beautiful, because that's exactly how the flow of writing works, especially at the beginning when you're doing the, uh, the initial stages of writing your PhD or your paper. And many AI tools lack this and everything opens in a new window. So the, this is a great feature. And what you can do, for example, is just, uh, um, I'll copy this chat in here and then I'll create a new note. And then I will just paste the chat um, in here and then we'll give it a title um, test note. Okay. Now, while you're writing the notes, you can also um, click on plus sign twice, and then what Unriddle is going to do is generate um, the following text that it thinks should come here. And this actually is pretty logical because what it did here is, you know, we had what are the limitations of these studies, okay? And then it actually generated suggestions for future research, which is very logical because that's usually what comes after limitations um, in a research paper or in a PhD thesis. So this is a very nice um, feature as well of um, Unriddle. And then what happens is that those nodes will end up here on the left hand side in your library and you can always go to them and open them in a full screen and continue writing as you were before. And when you've got it open in a full screen, you can also do a couple more things that most AI tools have these days. Um, for example, AI edit, so you could improve your writing, you could expand on that concept, you could summarize, and you could paraphrase things. So um, all in all, you know, pretty good features when it comes to an AI um, research writing assistant. Okay, and it also has references. So let's um, let's select this ref this sentence in here, and then you can click on references, and it's going to search our library, okay, for that particular text that is in the library. Or I can also type in the title of that text and search by it. So it will add it here. Now, a big limitation of Unriddle at the moment, as I said, it's going to be an honest review, is that the, the references aren't really formatted 
in any known format. They're just hyperlinks like this that open the text again, which if you think about it is a little bit useless because well, what am I going to do with these references once I'm finished with the text? I'll have to put them in again manually. Come on, Unriddle. You have to change this. There should be a referencing system like there is in SciSpace. So SciSpace is a great tool for literature review and writing, which I review in another video. And there's a link to sign up on SciSpace below this video and to get a 40% discount. But what Unriddle should have is a referencing system um, like this. That when I click here and then I go to site, what I actually get is um, suggestions I can go to my library okay and refer to the text only in my library or SciSpace can also search um, the internet for peer-reviewed publications on that particular uh, topic and I can actually type in my search in here so I can add keywords and get SciSpace to search for that um, but even when it comes to referring just to papers in my library SciSpace definitely beats um, Unriddle because it adds them in a correct format and it adds the reference in APA style at the bottom, which Unriddle does not do. So this referencing here is unfortunately a little bit useless, but I'm sure they will change it um, in the future. Now, a great feature of Unriddle that I haven't seen anywhere in any AI tool for researchers is this related um, feature in here. And what it does, it, it will actually recommend um, further sources that are in our library that we should be reading and referring to when we're writing that paper. So that, that allows you, again, to streamline the process because you no longer have to kind of look for those sources in your library. Unriddle will give them to you here. Well, actually, that's how it's supposed, it's supposed to do that. But as you can see here, it's not doing that. And as I said, I'm gonna be honest, it's an honest review. I don't know what Unriddle is doing here. It's thinking, it's reading, it's searching. But on the surface, it's supposed to be a cool feature. Now, um, another thing that um, is good about Unriddle is this um, literature review map. So you might know some other tools like um, LitMaps or um, Research Rabbit that um, use this as the main feature. Um, Unriddle has that on top of everything else, which I think is a fantastic addition because neither SciSpace nor Jenny AI have this feature. And it allows you to see your text and also the, uh, the text that you're actually writing. So not just the text in your library, but actually the text that you're writing it allows you to see what you're referring to and what are the connections between those papers, which is a really great feature because it helps you to visualize how to, you know, what the literature is and what you need to refer to still. So overall, I think Unriddle is a very decent tool. Uh, when it comes to the literature review and reading, I think it's really good. It allows you to chat with PDFs and do it way faster. It also has a really good notes taking feature and I, I very much like how it's streamlined that you know, you've got the text, you can chat with AI and then you can take notes here and then your notes appear here and everything is searchable. That's another great thing because the more text you upload to your library, the more notes you take, it's very easy to get lost. Whereas here you can search your library for anything. And then when you ask AI a question like I did here, it's going to find those sources for you and then you can open them. So that really speeds up the process when you're writing. So all in all, a very good literature review tool and a good AI writing tool. The main disadvantage in my opinion is the referencing system, which they really, really need to improve. Once they do it, they can be an excellent AI solution for you. Now, if you want to sign up on Unriddle and try out its free plan, click on the link below this video and it will take you to Unriddle and you can check everything out. Now, if you would like to work with me and my team 
to support you to publish regularly in top Scopus Index journals, then book a free one-to-one -one consultation. The link to do that is right below this video. We'll sit down with you for 60 minutes, identify what your problems are, what your goals are, and help you to um, come up with a plan that allows you to achieve those goals faster and publish more papers in better journals. And the link to that free one-to-one -one consultation is right below this video.